Welcome to the setup guide for the Canova slider. When you collect your slider from stores, it'll come in these two bags. It's a good idea to check the laminate before you leave the building to make sure that you've got everything listed on there. It's also good practice to quickly check the slider to see if it's loose. And if it is, please return it to stores and we'll tighten it. The Canova slider should be booked out with two tripods. Two tripods means a much more stable and safe setup. We'll begin by setting up both tripods next to each other. These will eventually support each end of the Canova slider. If there's a locating pin in the plate, please remove it now and put it in a safe place so you can reattach it later. We need to level off both tripod heads. To do this, loosen the bottom of the central column. Level the ball head using the spirit level and tighten up the central column again. If you turn the slider upside down, you'll find the threads for the tripod plate. Use the small one at this end and the small one at this end. Take both plates and screw them into each end of the slider, making sure that they're both oriented in the same direction. Once this is done, use the slider itself as a guide for how far apart the tripod should be. If you're using this type of tripod, the plate should clip in like this. It is possible to do them both at once if you line the tripods up perfectly. Please make sure you tighten the plates onto the heads. From this point on, we need to be aware of where the tripod legs are so we're not tripping over. And now we're going to attach the head from the other bag onto the slider. We need to make sure we lock off the head's panning ability. Line the bolt up with the hole underneath and then just twist it on. And lastly, unlock the panning again. If the panning handle's required, we can attach it now. Don't over tighten. We can now attach the plate to the camera. Just slide it on top of the head and make sure that you tighten it up. The slide is now ready. Loosen the red screw to unlock movement. Always remember to lock movement after use. You may have also noticed that the slider comes with two feet. Use these if you want to use the slider on a desk or along the floor. To use them, place them on either end of the slider and then use the red wheel to tighten them on. The rubber feet just fold out by loosening the black dials. If the slider wobbles during use, they can be finely adjusted. And that's two ways of setting up the Canova slider. Don't forget about that locating pin.